Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Miss Crystal and we are celebrating the third night of Kwanzaa. Hi everyone, it's Miss Crystal and we are back to celebrate the third night of Kwanzaa. Thank you so much for joining me. So tonight's principle we had day one, which was Umoja, unity. Day two was Kujichagulia, self-determination. Day three is Ujima, Ujima. So Ujima means collective work and responsibility. Now I know that seems like a lot for that one word to mean, but it's a, it's a value in, um, in African culture that's understood in this way. It means to build and maintain our community together and make our sisters and brothers problems our problems and to solve our problems together. Okay, so I'm gonna read that again. To build and maintain our community together and make our sisters and brothers problems our problems and to solve our problems together. So this one is so special. Um, I'm gonna light the candle and then we'll we'll talk about what does what does that mean? Right? What does that mean to make our sisters and brothers' problems our problems? Oh, I almost did it the wrong way. Here we go. We're gonna take that black candle that we light first. We're gonna use it to light the day two candle, which is red. And then we go to the very next red candle for day three. Unfortunately, I've seen some videos lately where they're showing um, where you light back and forth between the red and the green, but that's, that's incorrect. <laughs> you do want to light from the red and go into the green as part of the movement and the, symbol, the symbolism of Kwanzaa. So we have our three candles lit. Let's take a deep breath and think about Ujima. So, making our brothers and sisters problems our problems, that can be tricky because sometimes you can make someone else's problems your problems and then you just have more problems, right? This is very different. What this means is that we don't sit and go, oh, I look over there and I see a person that doesn't have a home and that's their problem that they don't have a home. It means that I look over and go, if they don't have a home, that is my problem too. And that doesn't mean I bring them into my home, but what it means is that I work to try to help that person. It doesn't mean that you take on their problems. It means that you help and recognize that they are part of, of this collective community. And the only way to have this unity is to come together and realize that we are only as strong as our weakest member. They say that about a team, right? It's the same thing on this planet. We are only as strong as we are as Americans, as strong as we are as world citizens, as we are our weakest or our poorest or our sickest. So if we look at them and say, this is something that affects me too, and how can I help? Right? I teach young children, maybe some of you guys are watching, and I will sometimes see where a kid is looking and seeing something else happening between two other kids. And they know maybe it's a situation where someone's being a bully or they're being unkind. And if you look and go, oh, okay, well, that's happening there and I'm gonna walk away, when maybe you could have said something. Maybe you could remind that friend that's not being kind. You're not being nice to that other person. You need to be kind. And so what started to happen in groups that I've worked with with children is they start to use that language with each other. They start to care about other people. They start to acknowledge that there's something outside of themselves. When we're young, it's so typical to be egocentric, right? 
The world is according to this kid because that is all they can see. So it, it is my mission when I'm teaching young children to get them to see outside themselves, to look and realize if there is a problem happening over here, maybe there's something I can do to help. How can I be a good friend? How can I be kind? How can I care about other people? How do we build empathy and compassion? So looking at this principle today, Ujima, we want to build and maintain a community together. And the only way we can do that is to help every member be a part of that community. So I hope that you will take a moment today to think about how you are out in the world. How do you take on looking at other people's problems or looking at how to help when you know there's something not right or when you know there's something you can do. It doesn't mean you have to do everything. It means one thing. What's one thing that you could do today to make someone else's life a little easier? So, thank you again for joining me for Kwanzaa. Um, a little, let me see, a little story from Kenya. Uh, bananas. This is actually a very interesting story. So, um, before I went to Kenya, I was allergic to bananas. I love them, but if I ate them, they made my mouth itchy. It was very strange. So when I went to Kenya at the children's home, at the farm there, they had banana trees. And so bananas were plentiful, and it was a snack that they had a lot. And they kept offering me, and I, and I, I had in the back of my head Anthony Bourdain telling me, if someone offers you food, you say yes. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, um, it's disrespectful not to. So at some point I said, okay, okay, I'll have banana, you know? Um, and I thought, I'll just deal with an itchy mouth. And I ate the banana in Kenya, and I had no itchy mouth. And I thought, this is strange. This is something special that's happening here in Kenya. <laughs> and um, it's because it's right off the tree. I had all these excuses why that would be possible. So when I came back home, I was so curious that I went to the grocery store and I bought like every kind of, I bought an organic banana, a regular banana. I may have even bought a plantain, I can't remember. But I was like, I'm just gonna try and see what happens. So I came back, I tried the bananas and I had no more itchy mouth. So this is so strange, <laughs> very strange, but I am no longer, no longer allergic to bananas. Kenya cured me of my banana allergy. Now I'm sure there's somebody out in the world that's gonna tell me exactly why that's true. Um, I would love to hear it, but I also love just the magic of knowing that Kenya cured my banana allergy. So that's my, my African tale for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, I'm on YouTube at Learning With Miss Crystal. I'm also on Instagram at Learning With Miss Crystal. And I appreciate any of your support and your sharing. It means so much to me to share this holiday with you. So, Harry's Kwanzaa. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.